Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech. Again, this is Kevin. Today we're going to talk about recording using your audio interface Zoom Live Track L12. So the advantage of this one is you can record multiple tracks at the same time. So as you can see on my screen is a Zoom Live Track L12. From the past video, I showed you the Scarlett 2i2 audio interface so I can record only two channels at the same time you can see the video in the link below but for today because I'm using the live track L12 I'm going to show you that you can record multiple tracks at the same time okay so if you see in my screen I have my microphone on line one so I've already set my gain to around 70% then my level around to minus 10 so I think I'm good you can see in my in my Ableton it's almost around 24 my audio level so I don't need to increase that please take note to increase your master output and then this one is I'm using for my monitoring and then um, because you're using the oh, live track as an audio interface don't forget to switch on the USB interface switch behind and then remember to switch this on okay so my level for this one I have set it around minus 18 let's see okay so my piano will also be coming in through the USB interface okay it's because I'm using the addictive keys as you can see in my Ableton screen I'm, I'll be recording it as a MIDI track or later I can demonstrate also how to record them simultaneously as an audio and MIDI track and then my drums okay I, this one is just a simulation I'll be using my phone I have a drum track in my phone so you just imagine that it's a real drum playing and then maybe for your drums you have multiple microphones that you have to plug in for your bass for your snares or whatever so you can just plug it in here okay and then you have to adjust the levels of those so for example for the drums let me try up to what level is sufficient for this recording okay I think that's enough then you can see I have only increased the level up to minus 13 no sorry minus 15 and then I didn't increase the green the gain yeah then okay we go to your Ableton so because my voice will be coming from here in this audio track I have my addictive keys you can record oh hold on sorry you need to go to your preferences first because you have to make sure that you can arm multiple tracks so that you can record different uh, tracks at the same time so you have to go to preferences go to your record warp launch and then make sure that these buttons arm and solo are disabled okay because if not you can only uh, arm one track at the same time so please make sure this is disabled and then additionally because my drums is coming from line 8 then I have to enable line 8 in the input configuration so line 7 and 8 must be enabled for mono and stereo inputs for keyboards as I mentioned because it's coming from the USB interface I don't need to arm anything anymore so I just need to arm or switch on these input configurations that's it 
So now we have to create an audio track. So as I told you, um, my piano I'll be recording in um, um, MIDI track, but I can simultaneously record it as an audio track. So I, uh, in my future videos, I'm going to discuss what's the advantage and disadvantage of recording a MIDI and an audio track. Okay, so for this time, we just show you how to record both at the same time. Okay, so this one, the audio is coming from this MIDI track, so I have to change this to source is coming from this track as addictive keys and then switch this on record okay because if you're playing at the same time then there will be two sound and these two will be too loud so i can just switch this off but you would see there's a signal coming in it will still record it's just that it's not playing at the same time or it's not creating a sound at the same time then you can insert another audio track okay you can switch this to change rename this to piano for example and then you can create another audio track for your drums okay then i have to change this to um channel sorry channel seven and eight as shown in my screen in my zoom live track l12 is on the seven and eight input so i have to change this okay so if you would see let me show you so signal is coming here okay i think it's too loud i have to lower it a bit Okay, then I think we're good. Go, you can record this also. So now I'm recording my voice, drums as a MIDI track, drums as an audio, oh no, piano as a MIDI track, uh, piano as an audio track, and then drums together at the same time. Okay. So everything is armed, we go to your session view, and then if I just click this, then it will record everything at the same time. Let's go, let's do that. We can do the mixing later. Okay, so first you have to turn this on, then it will start recording. Okay, let's do it one more time. So I will delete all the recording and let's do it again. and kingdoms will bow down and every chain will break as broken hearts declare his praise who can stop the Lord Almighty okay that's enough so I think you see that um, hold on I'm just switching off my drums so you see I have recorded everything, my voice, MIDI track of your piano, and then 
audio track of your piano and then the drums but it's in mono you would see okay um, let's try to play it and kingdoms will bow down and every chain will break as broken hearts declare his grace okay so you see the voice is too raw okay why because i can add some more effects on it and then it will sound differently let's try again Better, but of course it's too there's too much reverb on, reverb on it so you can still adjust everything when you're doing your um sorry when you're doing your uh, your remastering you have you can adjust everything and then everything will be better okay yeah there's a delay here yeah so you can do that so I think that's it for today. I hope you learned something. And again, if you like this video and you learned something, please like. And, uh, and then if you want to see my other videos, please click subscribe. Again, thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.